Yes guys, what's going on? Hashtag Shory here, bringing you my first gameplay video on my channel. It is about damn time I brought out some gameplay, I can't lie. Uh, I've done like four top 100 pack openings now and people have been saying in the comments, oh, do some gameplay and uh, yeah, today is finally that day. Uh, but firstly, just to start off the video, I just wanted to say like a massive thank you for all the support on the channel. Um, to be near 5,000 subscribers after literally a month uh, within making the channel is just absolutely insane. So to all of you guys, I just want to say like a massive thanks. I know it's really cliche and that kind of thing, but honestly, man, I mean it. It's just, it's just amazing. So a big thank you for that. Anyway, uh, into Weekend League. So I finished on 29 wins, 1 loss, which I was happy with to an extent. Um... The thing is, I've so we'll just double check where I finished. Yeah, so 34. I finished on 29 wins every week this this month. So as you can see, I finished on 145, which is 11th in the world. So we'll take that. That's decent. However, to not get a 30, like so in previous weeks this month, I've lost to a pro or you know like a, a, a top end player, and you know that's always going to happen. You're always going to take games off each other at, at the high end of FIFA. But the the loss this week, oh my god! Uh, I've put in the highlights. I've put all like my shots of that specific game in there because I, I just had to show it. Like this kid was just unbelievable with his keeper. It was just, it was ridiculous. But on to brighter things. We'll uh, we'll go into the team that I used for this weekend league. So guys, this is the team that I used for the weekend league. Um, honestly, just unbelievable to play with. Like this team is so good. Like Eusebio, Cruyff, Hullet, even Van Dijk was just absolutely unbelievable. And this is the, actually the same team that I used to qualify for the third Foot Champs Cup. Um, which, man, honestly, was just like the best feeling in the world. Like, honestly, I can't describe how good it was uh, actually qualifying. The thing is, the rest of the hashtag lads were at um, the Wembley Cup. So I was just at the HQ playing my games on my own. And when I qualified, I just, you know, I started shouting. I just started screaming. I couldn't believe it. I was like... <laughs> Oh my god, but I didn't have anyone to celebrate with. Um, yeah, awkward times, but um, no, on a real, uh, Van Dyke, if you get the, have the coins for him, honestly, the 73 pace is unnoticeable. Uh, he's just so good. Pull it, th there's no words for it. He's just the best player I've ever used in, in any FIFA. Like, I can genuinely say that. He's just ridiculous. Like, on this FIFA, like, no words, as you can clearly see. Anyway, uh, just one more thing I wanted to say before I get into the gameplay. Um, I've saved my top 100 awards from last week, so uh, that when I bring out my next top 100 uh, pack opening, I will be doing a double, basically. So the rewards from this week and then the previous week. So we've got two Ultimate Team of the Week packs, a lot of 100k packs, and then Division Rival rewards as well. So hopefully we'll pack something good there. Anyway, enough of me blabbing on. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, quick false alarm. Um, I just watched that back and realized you literally can't even see my right mid behind the face cam. So yeah, as you can see from this screen, it is Ronaldo. Anyway, into the gameplay now. So guys, as you can see, going into the first game here, we actually play against Phenomeno, uh, who is like a top pro player. I believe he's also qualified for the third Foot Champs Cup, uh, the same one that I'm going to. So um, yeah, it was interesting when I matched him. I was like, oh, for God's sake, you know, here we go, game against a pro. Uh, funnily enough, I think he actually finished first in the world for the month uh, on 147. So nice to take a game off him. Uh, but yeah, nice little finish here from Neymar. It's just like a standard FIFA 19 goal that like the time finesse is in this game. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all like got them down now. They're just they're just ridiculous, man. Like the amount of goals outside the box, like the um, Foot Champs Cups just finished, which Tex won. Of course he did. Just I knew he'd win it, man. He's just he's just unbelievable. But um, yeah, the amount of goals you see from outside the box are just absolutely insane. Uh, but there, I don't know. It's, it's weird with competitive FIFA this year because like people are saying it reduces the skill gap or whatever. But I don't know with the keeper move. Like, if there wasn't keeper movement, this game literally wouldn't work. Like, at least the keeper movement, you know, there's some goals that fly in in the competitive FIFA where you say, okay, you should have moved your keeper for that. Like, some of the long shots, like, if people don't move their keeper, that's kind of your own fault, especially the top pros. Like, you can't really complain. But at the same time, time finishing is, it's it's just, it's just crazy, man. Some of the goals that fly in are just insane. But, um, like, just to show you that clip there, for example, like, a lot of the time in weekend league, you play differently to how I would play against pros, which is so like on the edge of the box with Neymar there, for example, usually like at first time finesse it in weekend league, whereas there I actually did a like a cutback in a pro, pro game. Sorry. Oh God, don't break my mic. Um, that would be like the kind of thing I would do, like like doing a fake shot and then shooting the other way because people are always going to move their keeper in pro versus pro games. Like that's always going to happen. So 
it's just a bit weird playing weekend league because I wouldn't take the same shots in weekend league as I take in pro game pro games if you know what I mean. Uh, I can barely get my words out right now. But um, this team, like I said again, is just ridiculous. Eusebio, his left foot like this, like that kind of shot there, just ridiculously overpowered. Like I use it all the time. He's probably got the best shooting in the game. Like, like I can happily say that. He's from what I've used, he's got the best shooting I've ever used. I'm sure R9 will be better, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, speaking more about qualification, man. Uh, qualifying for that event was just like the best feeling in the world. But it's so hard. It's an absolute war trying to qualify for these events. So. Um, if you didn't know already, last year the qualification process was through weekend league, so just where you finished in the top 100. So, for example, where I finished monthly there, 11th, it would have it was top 64, and then went to the event. And look, by the way, look at these goals I'm conceding. I, so this was before I'd taken my loss. I was there like, yeah, like they're coming for me. Like it's it's over. Uh, I'm not getting this 30. And then I pull this goal, these goals back, and I'm just like, okay, okay, maybe. Maybe, just maybe, and then um, wait until you see the game that I lose and you'll just be like, ah, okay. But no, the game I lost, was it was my own fault. I should have I should have started shooting the other way because this guy was just ridiculous with his keeper. But um, yeah, back onto qualification. So now the new qualifying process is basically you, you playing against pros to qualify. Well, not all necessarily pros, but you know, top end players and then pros as well. Um, and you have to get six wins before three losses in the Swiss style format and then win knockout games to get to the event So oh my god, mine was just uh, mine was just a war man I was uh, so I was on five wins and one loss and then I matched PSG Dax who is just an unbelievable player uh, This was a nice bit of play here actually uh, Always a good thing to do by the way in this game when you're receiving the ball in attacking areas Like doing scoop turns and doing skill moves as you receive the ball like a lot of the time your opponent isn't expecting it um, but yeah, so I matched Dax and I managed to beat him to go six to get six wins. So that put me into the knockouts and then um, I played Dax again. So he was my actual knockout game and he beat me there. Dax is just an unbelievable player. Um, I'm going to keep interrupting myself here, but because I'm trying to tell a story while I was trying to talk to the gameplay. This guy's team was ridiculous and this game was clutch, like absolutely like a score in the last minute. Like, you know, there you go. Um but I didn't even press anything for that penalty there. It's really annoying when that happens. But, you know, what can you do, mate? What can you do? But, uh, so yeah, I played Dax in the knockouts. And I managed to lose to him. But then uh, I got put into the loser's bracket after that. And then I managed to win my game in the loser's bracket. Uh, I won like 3-0 and then 2-0 um, in a best of three. And, man, honestly, what an unbelievable feeling. But, yeah, so here we are again. Like... I, I blocked the cross, I don't know, fairly standard goal still, but as you can see, 92nd minute, Rude Hullet comes up with the goods. Oh, just a best feeling, man. And then, this is what's annoying about foot champs, I'm sure you guys can relate. You'll have so many games where you you go to extra time, where, you, like, there, I so nearly lost this game. And then I just go destroy this guy, and it's just like, what what happened the whole rest of the game? Uh, I was about to go 5-2 up against that guy and then he just quit. So I didn't actually score. Um, he just quit as the ball was about to go in. Um, but yeah, man, another goal. Uh, this guy was actually really good. I think he finished on 28 wins. Um, so, you know, that's decent. So I beat I beat Phenomeno and then a guy on 28. So I didn't have the easiest matchmaking this week. Um, but people have certainly had a lot harder as well. Uh, nice goal here from Cruyff. I didn't actually green that shot, but... They still go in. They still fly in with these crazy icons some of the time. Um, this goal here, nice little stop. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. Doing that in the box, if I can give any tips, is that you see that left foot shot from Eusebio again there. But um, like fake shots in the box and dead stops, people always give away pens and people just never expect it. Like that one with Neymar back there, like dead stop and then finesse in far post. People don't move their keeper for that like very often because people don't expect it. But this game was getting a bit tight here, and I was like, oh, come on, please, please no. But uh, Cruyff, red, red time finesse from Cruyff goes in. I, I Honestly, I do not understand how that's going in. Th to be honest, red time finesses, they should just never go in. Like, they should just fly to France. Like, they should never, ever go in in this game. Because I feel like the whole point of time finishing is, you know, you get rewarded for the greens, and then you should get, you know, absolutely, you know, not rewarded. <laughs> For um for red in it, you know you should have the complete opposite. But here, here guys, this is the game. This is the game. Oh, let's have a good watch here. Look at that save. Look at that save. 
Um, I think I think I scored with this one. Uh, I definitely didn't mean to pass it all the way back there, but then I managed to create a nice chance. This is a good little turn with Ronaldo, and then greens it. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of shot he wasn't expecting. So that's why it went in. Look at this. He greens it. He greens it the other way. I, I, you know, he scores that. Look at the stats at half time. He's had 64% passing accuracy. Like, I, I'm speaking so fast because this was the most frustrating game. But uh, that goal was quite lucky. But, oh my God, man. Th just watch the chances I'm having here. Right there. I should have shot the other way. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. I should have shot the other way. Here. Clean through. Look at this keeper movement. Look at this guy, man. He's just, oh my God. Oh, like here, going down the wing, La Croqueta so, works so well here. And he moves his keeper for that. I couldn't believe it. I hit the post here with Ronaldo. This is just depressing to watch. I can't lie. Like, <laughs> how did I not How did I not win this game? And then, um, then we do go to pens. And there's only one outcome when I go to pens. There really is. Um... I literally miss all three. <laughs> I don't even know why I've involved them all. Like it's it's it's, it's horrible to watch. Uh, funny story about penalties. Actually, I when I played in the first event that I ever qualified for, which was Manchester uh, in FIFA 18, I played my first game in in Swiss style, and I was losing like the whole game. And then I finally pulled it back. And uh, after five five, after extra time, we go to penalties, and. We're in pens, and I score my first two pens. My opponent misses his first two pens. And I lost. And I somehow lost. Can you imagine the feeling of losing at an event when you've gone 2 0 up on pens? And then, funnily, funnily enough, I'm, so I'm 0 1, and in Swiss, obviously, you match the person that's got the same record as you. And uh, the ref comes up behind me and he like taps me on the shoulder and he's like, uh, he's like listen here, mate. He's like, um, you've got Gorilla? And I'm like, sorry? <laughs> sorry? Say that again, please, pal. But. Um, you know that was that was depressing, but that's another good thing to do on the edge of the box. Uh, that I actually learned that from Tex, like scooping back and then and then a scoop turn at scooping back. What am I on about? Like dragging back and then a scoop turn afterwards always works well. Um, just people just never expect it. And uh, as you can see, I do this a lot. The lack of ketters in the box. This is a nice little goal here, but. Um, we're going to be coming up near the end of the gameplay now, guys. Like, a lot of these people towards the end just started rage quitting. Um, I just wish I hadn't have played all those games on the Saturday when I ended up losing that game. Because it just definitely would have been a 30. Because I was playing quite well um, in these games. But, you know, I am sad. But I wake up every day with a smile on my face at the moment. Because I've qualified for the Foot Champs Cup. And it's just the best feeling, man. So, uh, I'm buzzing to play in that. But... Obviously, this video might have been a bit all over the place. Uh, you know, I've done all the commentary in one, but uh, let me know what you guys thought of it as well. Um, obviously, I've in included quite a lot of highlights. Like, this is quite a long video. I, I do get that. So maybe next time I include um, just, I don't know, more of each game. And maybe not like, like, maybe not just the goals, but maybe more of the intense games. I don't know. You guys let me know. But, um, you know, just there's just a lot of goals in this video. And I understand it is quite long. But, you know. You know, we'll, 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 you guys just let me know. Uh, but yeah, so I'm coming up against some decent teams here. and But the thing is, the standard and foot champs, it's just weird. It's just weird because you can literally match anyone. You can match you can match pros and you can match people that are like 20 and 6 and stuff like that when I'm like flawless. And it just, it's, it's weird how the, the matchmaking goes. But as you can see, I'm doing Lacoquetas again there in the box. They just work so well. Like if I can give any tips to sort of use, the Lacroqueta there is just unbelievable um shout out to harry for that actually harry, harry um showed me that like kind of thing down the wing and uh yeah i've used that in a lot of competitive games and it works quite well um as you can see here nice little goal heel to heels as well like the skill moves that are effective in this game like heel to heels um migidi spins like scoop turns that, that kind of thing you want to be doing all those skills within the box um basically just try and replicate f2 techs and then you know you'll be the best in the world um, but anyway, guys, this is like the last bit of the gameplay. So I um, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, and just just let me know. Let me know what you thought of this. Obviously, it's quite a long video. And uh, I've included quite a lot of clips. But yeah, that was the last game. He quit there. And uh, yeah, obviously, you got me on the full, full screen now. So um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please do drop a like rating uh, and subscribe as well. And uh, just a massive thank you again for all the support. I, I really, really appreciate it, guys. And uh, we're bringing out lots more videos over the coming weeks. I know I say that every time, but it's just facts, mate. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I guess that's everything. So uh, just, you know, lad, don't forget to hashtag it.